Hello and welcome to another reading from the book That I May Know Him, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Bearer of All Afflictions, February 11th That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Matthew 8.17 Christ alone was able to bear the afflictions of the many. In all their affliction he was afflicted. Isaiah 63, 9 He never bore disease in his own flesh, but he carried the sicknesses of others. With tenderest sympathy he looked upon the suffering ones who pressed about him. He groaned in spirit as he saw the work of Satan revealed in all their woe, and he made every case of need and of sorrow his own. No multiplicity of numbers distracted him, no anguish overwhelmed him. With a power that never quailed, he cast out the evil spirits that possessed mind and body, while the pain of the sufferers thrilled through his whole being. The power of love was in all his healing. He identified his interests with suffering humanity. Christ was health and strength in himself, and when sufferers were in his immediate presence, disease was always rebuked. It was for this reason that he did not go at once to Lazarus. He could not witness his suffering and not bring him relief. He could not witness disease or death without combating the power of Satan. The death of Lazarus was permitted that through his resurrection the last and crowning evidence might be given to the Jews that Jesus was the Son of God. And in all this conflict with the power of evil, there was ever before Christ the darkened shadow into which he himself must enter. Ever before him was the means by which he must pay the ransom for these souls. When he raised Lazarus from the dead, he knew that for that life he must pay the ransom on the cross of Calvary. Every rescue made was to cause him the deepest humiliation. He was to taste death for every man. Of the suffering multitudes brought to Christ, it is said, He healed them all. Matthew 12:15. Thus he expressed his love for the children of men. His miracles were part of his mission. He knows how to speak the word, Behold, and when he has healed the sufferer, he says, Go and sin no more. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book that I may know him. Be encouraged.